Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Civ 6 playthrough. This is part 3 and you know what? You know what? We are here. You can see, like, if I'm like gone to the next day or not. If I've stopped playing this at midnight, you can see if I've stopped playing this at midnight. Ah, oh, fun times. You know I'm still sitting here awkwardly playing Civ while, like, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. I should go to sleep. I should. But I'm not going to, because <laughs> at the moment we're sending galleys out. We have some uh, some sea exploration, which I am looking forward to. So what just happened there? Oh, fortification hell. Oh, okay. He got his walls. Your knowledge of shipbuilding is advanced considerably. Thank you. I I approve. Uh, you are also going to be set to all main explorer. Whoa. Plants and organisms that make shells Sparkle. coral. Think of it as a <laughs> Great Barrier Reef found. Okay. That was unexpected, I guess. I don't really have a lot else to say about that. That was unexpected. Can I still spacebar to make them in time? Okay, I can. It's still the same keybinds then. Or at least for the most part. We are going to get bronze working so I can see iron on the map, because that would be nice. And we are going to, we could get a harbour. A district for naval activity in your city. Also removes the movement penalty for embarking and disembarking to and from this tile. Huh. That does seem nice. However, I feel like walls are the priority right now because that person over on our left has walls and that's scary. So that is one reason why I need to match them in everything they do because I don't know what I'm doing. So, what is this? Is this a trader? Is, 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 is Jakarta trading with me? Is Jakarta making me roads? Please make roads to my capital. Have you made roads to my capital? Are these roads? You have made roads. Good job. It's a very windy road, but I mean, meh. No one's expecting a highway just yet. Not in frickin' 1420 BC. Well, it would be good, but no one's expecting it. What is this? What is this? What is this? You want 239 and a gold per turn. Pearls for marble, open borders, cities. I've, I've done a bad... Okay, so they want open borders for money and open borders. I mean, yes, they're gonna give me two gold and one gold for thirty turns for open. Sure, sure, right, right. They were being nice to me just then. Rumor has it the Cipher has just declared war on Leventa. Cipher, can we not? Where is Leventa? Where is Leventa? There. Are you Cypher? You were Cypher, right? <laughs> yeah, you were Cypher. You're the only opposite I've met. Of course you were Cypher. Um, our relationship. Unfriendly. Why? I gave you your deal. We're friends. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Please, don't hurt me. Oh no. <laughs> My aim was not to make enemies. I think I've failed. I think I've failed. Oh dear. I want to do the project, because I'm not sure what a project is, so let's go for it. Let's see how this goes. I do want to settle another city. Oh, okay, so she just got to class clear, that means we're ahead on tech, which is good. I do kind of want to attack her second city. It's turn 46, it's too soon to be thinking about that, right? Right, 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 must be. Should I really be thinking that I want to attack her cities yet? Probably not. I do like the fact that the Great Barrier Reef is on coast tiles now, rather than in the middle of the ocean. Because before, in Civ Five, they could be placed in the middle of an ocean, in the middle of nowhere, and you just couldn't get to them in any way. And that sucked. So we have, we have stuff happening right now. We have a new civic tree we can get. We have new things. Well, that's just... Oh, we'll get military tradition, because it's only going to take two turns. I like that. And we'll also acquire engineering, because that gives capitals. Yes, please. Claim a great person. Ooh, what is this? 
What on earth is this? I can claim a great scientist, or I can pass. I mean, great scientist is pretty much what I want. Ah, you can see how what players have like the most towards them. So Cipher has some some good great profits, one great profit point per turn. Uh, no one has any admiral or general or engineer or merchant. Um, someone's getting there with an artist, and someone's getting there with a music musician, which is a bit weird. Someone nearly has a writer, but I'm the first one to get someone, so let's go. All right, how do I how do I use this guy? Your consideration, your knowledge of education has advanced considerably. Thank you. Uh, what am I doing with this guy? What does he do? Triggers the Eureka moment for free random technologies. Can he do anything else? Civilopedia? Civilopedia? This is the first time we've even looked at the Civilopedia. Where is the Civilopedia? Ooh, not there. Not there. Where is the Civilopedia? How do I stop myself from being a scrub? Um, I probably can't. Oh well, we'll just... I mean, free Eurekas, that's, that's kind of nice. An unmet player has finished building the World Wonder Oracle. That's kind of bad. World Rankings. Can I see? Domination. Everyone's going to be the same, basically. Religious victory. You have to convert cities. Is that all? That's kind of weird. Okay. Culture victory. You have to... I don't really know. I don't really know. And science victory, I am leading. So I'm going to continue going for science victory because I, I do not know what I am doing. Uh, do I have an envoy that I can use? Not by the looks of it. Well then. Do we randomly Eureka? I don't know if this is the smart thing to do, but let's go. Castles, mathematics, and military engineering. Did say a random free? They, they were pretty random, I'll give them that. Okay. Policy and government changes. Do we have anything interesting and new? I'm just keeping an eye on it now because I'm a little bit conscious. Can I change this at any point? Your people are enthusiastic to try this new form of government. Confirm the switch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm happy and all that you're happy and, and, and stuff, but calm down. Calm down. No guarantees there. Kind of want to come down here and grab these crabs and horses. Like, maybe settle down here. Like, on this point. Although, I also just want to take this sea. Because they're going to go to war with me at some point. It's going to happen, okay? I'm not going to try and play play dumb. Like, they aren't going to. They've already gone unfriendly with me. Need more ammonites. Ugh, damn it. How do I get ammonites? I need, uh... Luxuries, right? Wow, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's really bad. I mean, we are working... We did do uh, something towards it, I'm sure. There was the games thing we did towards it. Yeah, we did games and recreation. So there is there is still things that we can do. We, we have options there with Ammonites. We can get that up. We can get that up. That's not a problem. We'll be okay with that. Gonna get drama or poetry next. I've already decided on that. Now, for the next thing we get, what do we want? Entertainment complex, maybe? Encampment? Uh, no. No. No, everyone's friendly with us. We're friendly, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, no one does, no one dislikes us. So, what did that even really get us? That got us great scientist points, which is how we got the scientist back. Well, we're going to get an entertainment complex. Uh, we'll remove the woods. Not too worried about that, but I don't really want to. Uh, what about here? Improvement will be removed. 
So we'll just chuck it over there. <laughs> we'll just chuck it anywhere. Send an envoy. Okay, who wants an envoy right now? Uh, I kind of want to send it to Kabul. Because that only needs one more to the next level. Hmm. I also want to send it to Seol, because that gives a bonus to tech. So does Hatusa. Uh, which of those is closer? Seol? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to send it to Seol. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, envoy. I hope you don't die. Honest. <laughs> so convincing. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to head down to this. Rice? More barbarians. Here we go. Oh, but there is a village. There is a village. That's kind of nice. So, when we get engineering, I'll start building catapults for that. Like, catapults are very nice. I would like some catapults. I might buy some catapults. I am unsure whether I will buy catapults or not. It is definitely an option. So we're going to send you round the top so you don't get uh, pincer attacked or whatever. I do not want to get uh, stuck there. We will move you down. We will wait there so we don't walk into your borders for too long. Although I don't think you get a negative bonus if you walk into borders anymore. I think it's perfectly fine. So I think we could have maybe done that. Oh well. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Barbarians are like at their capital. Oh my god. Holy damn. My scout. No. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. My scout took a lot of damage. Please run away. They have they have horse archers. Oh my god. Rip. Rip that scout. That's all I'm going to say. Rip that scout. That scout is dead. That scout may as well be dead. You're going to go there. Your unit has earned experience. Why, thank you. Shipbuilding. I can get a quadrireme. Quadrireme. Oh my god. Just make it a trireme, please. Uh, legions. Which are my special unit. So they could be really good. They could be really good. Uh, we can also get horseback riding, and I think that's the smart thing to get. So we're going to keep building the entertainment complex so that we can get some happiness, because honestly that's important. Uh, we have one trade route that we could get. Oh, rip scout. Ah, poor bug. Why, why barbarians? Why? I checked off that way too quickly. I didn't even get to see what that said. Well. I can still attack. I may as well. Can move and attack. Hell yeah. And you're going to keep heading back for now. You, however, Aretium, are at minus one amenities. Just like Rome. Which is a bit of a problem. And so you should really build an entertainment complex, but that's going to take so long. It's going to take so long. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. I just want to build catapults. <laughs> Probably not what I should do. Um, you're going to build a trader so that we can get a trade route going. Because maybe I'll be able to trade with my own cities for, like, production or something. And that'd be good. Because that way I could place the trader in Rome and then trade to Eretium for production so that Eretium gets a bit more production. If it works the same as in Civ V. Uh, that's, that's some stuff that's being completed. Okay. What would I like? Siege Tower? That sounds kind of nice. That sounds really nice. Oh, that. Nah. Yes. Please ignore the enemy towers. Yes. Of course I want to ignore walls. Why wouldn't I want to ignore walls? It's amazing. Right. Uh, plus 6 C defense. Plus 5 C rain strength. That's good. 100% uh, production towards defensive buildings. That's really good. To boost, be the, de be the target of a declaration of war. Okay. I'll leave that until that happens. Uh, building encampment, and we can get yields from pillaging when doubled. Oh god, if anyone gets that in a multiplayer game, I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> Pre-corded history. Wonder. Great library. 
Wow. That doesn't seem like it's going to be too good anymore. Because this is the medieval area, which means we'll get a boost on these. That's not too good. And then finally, we have the temple, which will give us faith. We have the Mahodabi Temple, which is a wonder. Uh, I, I, I don't know which of these I want. I don't really care. I guess we'll go for this for the campus bonus more than anything. Yeah. Because when this gets done, that'll be another district, and then that should be the bonus for that as well. So I'm, I think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, I am, I am starting to struggle. I am starting to be tired, but we are not going to talk about that. Look how many warriors you still have, Jakarta. Your size free. Get something going, please. You can grab a camp. Yes. <laughs> I love that because he didn't even fight. That's the funniest thing. Promotion available. Uh, yes, I want more range strength. I do not want to let him die anymore. So I can build off of the entertainment complex and continue to build an arena. I can build a coliseum. Uh, I can build a catapult. I'm going to build a catapult. Because honestly, war is coming. Winter is coming. Everything is coming. I'm scared. So we're going to keep clicking next turn and hoping for the best. Because honestly, barbarians are still a thing. And I'm not going to lie, I just want that city. This city here. I don't care about that capital. I'm not going to push into that capital and go crazy over warmonger bonus and try into domination victory and all that. I, I just want to take this city right now. That's all I have focused on. I, I just want to focus on that. And this looks like it is the end of our continent. Which is a little bit interesting. So, you, Mr. Warrior, you are going to stay, like, around here. Maybe I'll move you back to promote you. Probably going to do that. But generally, I'm just going to keep something scouted out on this city so I can know when I want to take it. Because this is, like, the optimal land for me. This is my optimal city. So there is iron down here, but that's not too important. I could come, in, like, all the way down here and sell cities, like, down this bit, but I... This is the optimal. So we will move you within one step of the city, right there, just so that, in fact, no, you know what, we can just move you into the city and then I can see if you have any promotions or anything like that. I don't know when warriors get upgrades. I don't really know how the upgrades work. I'm, I'm intrigued though. I am very intrigued. I, I hope that it goes into the legion, but that might be Spearman. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and final. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay. <laughs> well, that's it's definitely a fairy. Castles. Medieval walls. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We could also get currency. I don't like the fact that you can get point of a gold. I don't like that. Uh, commercial hub. Yo, that's got a lot of stuff right there. I like that. I'm going to go for that. That district seems really good. Bath district. Replace the aqueduct. A distinct unit. City of Rome. Growth. Bath, please. Apparently, I should put it on the sheep, but no, I will not do that. Uh, instead, I can I only put it on the sheep? Does it have to be built on something? Like... Uh, from an adjacent river, lake, or oasis. Must be built adjacent to the city center. So I guess I have to build it there? Oh, that's... I don't... I don't know if I want to do that. Why does it have to be there? I don't understand. It has to be adjacent to the sea center. Why can't I build it like here then? Why can't I build it here? What is so different? I'm very confused. Is it because I have to be built on a hill? It doesn't say that, does it? Oh, from an adjacent river, lake, oasis, or mountain. Oh, so it has to be next to the mountain, in other words. And the sea center. Okay, yeah, just it has to be. There. Got it. Got it. Fine. If I want housing, I have to put it there. I, I'm. Ugh, that's annoying. 
Um, you can also build a bath, but you can build it like anywhere. So we will shove this one here because that's like the most useless tile ever. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> or at least it looks like it. So you, friendly little warrior, you're gonna sit there and be a good little child and do nothing. Now, here's a trade. Here's some trade right here. Here's some trade. Jakarta gives me eight gold. That's a lot of gold. That is definitely a lot of gold. Rome will give me four food, one production, and one gold. Uh, it's between Jakarta and Rome. How much do I value money? Uh, not as much as I value the things I get for going to Rome. So I'm going to trade with Rome. Begin route. Rome receives nothing. Oh, well. <laughs> In addition to bringing riches to our civilization, this trade, trade will, will gradually develop, develop roads. roads between That's good. Cities. That's really good. Your knowledge of currency has advanced considerably. Good, because I'm in the middle of doing that. That's very nice. And there is our first catapult. Look at it. Look at it go. Yes. Yes. More. More catapults. All the catapults. We don't need anything other than catapults. Ah, good old catapults. I'm a fan of them. So we may not have as much defense, but we have more population, and I feel like we're doing a little bit better than these guys. I am completely comparing myself to these guys to, like, get a grip of where I am in the game. Although, in reality, they could actually just be doing terribly. That's that's definitely a, a freaking thing that could happen. Please, please no. <laughs> So, I do want to build a siege tower, because that sounds amazing. I'm basically starting to prepare for war, which might be a little bit early, I don't really know, but I'm, I'm preparing for war. Purchase an item over here, I would like something on the production line. Uh, oh, I can't purchase anything like that, I can only purchase units, really? Uh, I wouldn't mind another catapult, not gonna lie, but... kind of want a horseman, not gonna lie, but we don't have any horses. Uh, is there any horses anywhere near us, in fact? Because I do not think that it, there's some horses down here, but they're gonna be a bit difficult to get to, so no horses for us, okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, we can wait until we can get legions and then attack, because they aren't actually too angry with us at the moment, I don't think. They are unfriendly, which, I mean, eh. I'm not too worried about that. I think we could get for it. Look at these guys, just sitting in an oasis, completely given up. How dare they? Catapult, you are going to sit right on that stone. You are not moving another inch forward, because they will get suspicious. I don't know how suspicious they'll be if I'm more than one tile away. Like, if I was on their borders, normally in Civ Five, they would be very aggressive towards me because of that. However, because I'm a tile back, they might be fine with me. I'm not entirely sure. Money. So yeah, we're going to attack them and hopefully see some drop. Yeah, there we go. Fall. Fall, your scrubs. Ha. Ha ha ha. War. War is fun. Uh, right. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? Uh, um, 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 shipbuilding, no. Mathematics, Petra? Just the Petra? That's all that's in mathematics? That's different. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. I am hearing some things. Retium needs more housing. Well, an unmet player has finished building the world wonder of the pyramids. Well, that's bad, but we weren't going for it, so I'm not too worried. Is our slinger gonna die? Don't die. Kill him. Throw a rock at him. <laughs> that's so satisfying. <laughs> he just picks up a rock and knocks him down. That's beautiful. That's actually beautiful. So I can move a siege tower as like a secondary unit. That's kind of cool. 
that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. So there's still like a lot of wonders that we could be building and a lot of things like that that I'm kind of putting off. Like I'm, I'm fully putting that off. I'm just kind of like chucking out units randomly and I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm gonna try and go for Stonehenge because it can actually be built on stone, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna. Oh no, no, it can't. No, it can't. In that case, I don't really know if I want it. I mean, it is still a religion. I don't really mind removing a farm for a Stonehenge. I feel like I'm just wasting all of my resources. Basically, I'm gonna remember if I get a builder anymore to build only on resources and tiles outside of my adjacent city range. That's one thing I will definitely recommend from playing this far in. Because it does seem like a lot of these have to be built adjacent or adjacent to stone. Probably has to be adjacent to stone. I would imagine something like that. I mean, it's Stonehenge. It it works. If if that's not it, then I don't know. Ah, uh, either way, we need to build another campus. Not sure about that. I could build walls. Eh. Who wants to build walls? Come on now. No. What tiles are being worked? How do I even micromanage? That's something I should be looking at. Manage citizens. Okay. So I think the smartest thing we can do is build a new builder and work some of these tiles that are being worked. Like actually like make some improvements on them so I'm getting the most out of the city. Because at the moment I don't feel like I'm getting the most out of my cities. My fault entirely, but I don't like it. What are these galleys even doing? <laughs> Why? They're just running along the coast back and forth. Like this, the one that's, where even is the other one? Where, where? This galley is somewhere, at least. Automate exploration. Danger, danger. Well, already been all the way up here. Oh my God. I've been further than I thought. Okay. I, I take back what I was about to say about them uh, not going very far. I'm I'm sorry, galleys. I'm very sorry. We can buy an arena, which gives plus one amenity. Though at the moment we are at plus one, and that's like all I care about. I don't feel like we need anything extra than that. That sounds fine. However, you could do with buying maybe a builder. Maybe another catapult. Do we just buy another catapult and prepare for war? If we buy another catapult and prepare for war, of course we do. Yes, yes, please. I'm always excited for war. War is the best. War is the best part of Civ. Look at this, look at this unit. Look at this warrior, I could take it out right now. I could just start war by killing it. Oh, no need. <laughs> no need, no need at all. Is that a barbarian horseman? That's great. That's great. They're being killed by barbarians. I'm preparing to go to war with them. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the barbarians all come to me. That'd be horrible. Oh, that's a possibility as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I kind of want to go for machinery because crossbowmen are fun. I kind of want to get a knight. Ooh. Ooh. Wouldn't mind getting like any of these texts over mathematics. Mathematics seems so bad. They just took everything out of it. Why does it only have Petra? That's that's not good. The Hue to I call it Wonder plus one. Yeah, they we're not building that. Pikemen. Pikemen are good. Pikemen are really good. Uh I also wouldn't mind getting a, getting all the way to education. Which probably means getting to apprenticeship. So we're going to start on apprenticeship. Okay. I like the way we got... We have all three Eurekas on these. It's weird. We don't have, like, any mines, which is a bit strange, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I can make this catapult attack that guy right there. Because, honestly, I'm worried that he will come towards my catapult. It's like the horse just took a full-on hit to the face. He's like, just like, okay. <laughs> just, okay. 
Good, good luck, guys. I'll just chill here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a horse. You can't damage me. <laughs> it's just fucking... I'm so annoyed. <laughs> it just stood there straight through it. He's unfazed. My catapult must be that weak. No, don't come towards my catapult. God damn it, I knew this was going to happen. I've lived through some terrible things in my life. Right, what policies do we have now? Anything? Anything good? Uh, purchasing tiles, not too worried about that. Anything, anything good, anything at all. Like, none of this seems good. None of it. I am not worried about any of that. Hmm. Bonus on wonder production in 13 more turns in an autocracy. Huh. Okay. I don't really know what that means. There's a lot that I'm not going to understand. Uh, that's a problem. I am kind of tempted to change to this, though. Not going to lie. I don't know if this has any negatives, but I'm going to try swapping. So we're going to keep the one production in each C. Uh, I'm going to get the plus one housing. That sounds nice. Uh, I like the sound of that. And the wild card should be the same, I believe. Maybe? Maybe. Plus one faith and plus one gold. Although, there's no point in me having that when I just have plus two gold. Because I don't care about faith. I'll go with that. We'll see how that goes. Might be terrible, who knows. Uh, you're going to go back to being automatic explorer. And this, happening over here, you're going to attack him. Go, Capel. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, the horse just runs off. I like that even more. I think. <laughs> Unless you can use the horse again. <laughs> oh, dear. Create escort formation with catapult. Oh. Oh, chief. Yes, please. <laughs> Any, yes, just yes. Find that. Uh, theology boost founder religion. Nope. Uh, grow city to 10 population. Nope. Uh, I don't I don't know about any of these. I don't have any interest in like any of this. I kind of have the things that I'm interested in. I guess we go for defensive tactics because honestly I'm more afraid of them coming after me than yeah. Well, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. And uh, it is it is 2 a.m. for me. Oh my god. Well, Civ Six, what have you done to me? You have destroyed everything with me. Oh, they actually made peace. I didn't I. Completely forgot they were at war. Can you imagine trying to talk oh, six hundred people to, to helping you drag a fifty ton store eighteen miles across the countryside and muscle it into an upright position and then say, Right lads, another twenty like that, then we can party. That's a kind of weird thing to think about, but they're right. <laughs> they are freaking right. So do I get a religion? A great profit, a great profit you see. A great profit has come to our lands. Oh no! Right, you're gonna go stand there, and uh, you're gonna found a religion. Let's get this underway. Let's found a religion. Nope. Okay, I have to do production first. Okay. Production first. Great library. Is it worth it? No. No, it's not. It's not worth it. I never thought I'd say that. I am gobsmacked at myself, but I am saying it's not worth it to build a great library. This is not Civ Five. <sighs> Feels weird. Um, I would not mind making a commercial hub, so... Thinking I'm gonna put it right there, actually. Choose a religion. Right, this is all new to me. This is all new to me. So we have Buddhism, Catholicism, yep, 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 yep. Custom religion? Well, of course I'm gonna go to the custom religions. Like... Oh, I'd normally go with Taoism, to be honest. That's what I went with in Civ. But there's a lion face? There's a... There's a worm? <laughs> there's a turtle! There's a turtle. Taking the turtle. <laughs> I don't know. I mm, Do I want to take the turtle? Or do I want to stick with my Taoism? I normally go with Taoism. 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie though, a turtle. How can I? How can I not have the religion that's a turtle? I. Of course, I'm gonna go with the turtle. Uh, we're gonna go with freaking Caracostas. Uh, Caracosta. To Ubers, right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Caracosta to Ubers. No, no, we're not. We're just gonna call it Caracosta. I don't. I don't know what other turtles are there. There has to be a better turtle. It looks like a Tartuga. Tartuga's a funny word. Go with Tartuga. Tartuga's just a funny word. That's all I'm going with. I don't even know. Uh, what are we gonna give for religion beliefs? That's a horrible religion name. I'm sorry. One amenity. Eh. One plus one percent production. That's... Mm. I mean, I guess if you have a lot of followers, it can be good, but that does not seem good. Although saying that, it's what I'm looking at at the moment, and I think it's going to be the best. May purchase campus and theatre square district buildings with faith. That doesn't sound too bad, but I'm not too interested. Shrines and temples, I don't have any of those. Relics have triple yield. I don't even know what a relic is. I'm going to go with work ethic. Yeah, how about that? Why not? And church property is normally what I'd go with, because money. Money is good. Although Tithe would be even better than... I don't know, church property would probably be better at this point. Your religion pressure never drops due to losses. Ooh. Ooh. Why do I feel like that's good? I don't know. I, no, that doesn't sound too good. I don't. Oh, decision's difficult. I'm going to go with Tithe for the late game money, I think. Then we're going to found a religion, which buffs our theology. Okay. So, that being said, your this siege tower, what are you going to do? Are you going to move? You're not going to move. You're going to sit there, and then the catapult is going to fortify. You're fortifying until healed. Builder, you are going to, over here, build a farm. And this guy is going to move up onto that hill. So, once again, we're going to end this off, like, right before I end. In fact, we're going to end the turn before I end this off, just to see what anything happens. See if anything interesting happens. I don't think it will. Catapult is available for a promotion. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, though. I will do that first. Hold up. I'm addicted already. Oh, dear. Uh, slip. Can you not? Can you not attack my slingers, please? They're, they're innocent. They're innocent in all of this, I swear. What catapult has a promotion? Is it this one that has a promotion? Am I being, am I being silly? Am I being silly right now? It definitely said my catapult had a promotion, right? 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 I'm not going crazy. Upgrade to Legion. Yes, please. Legions, please. Yep, 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 yep. So, warriors go to Legions, for anyone wondering. I do want to upgrade this to an archer, so I'm going to make him run away. Because, honestly, I want to keep this guy alive, because he has two upgrades, and that's nice. Ugh. So, you are going to skip your turn there. You are going to build your farm. I am going to click next turn. I have done another turn, even though I was going to end up this episode and possibly get, take a break from this. Your treasure is filling up quite nicely. Wow, rude. Rude. No, it's not. I have 147 gold with plus three per turn. That's terrible. <laughs> Please stop chasing my people. Please, they're, they're innocent. Like, they're just, they're just little slingers. They're just little slingers. I could name the unit! The slingers kill knockers! Ah. Okay, you're gonna be called Run as you desperately got an achievement for that! <laughs> but that is gonna wrap up this episode. We're gonna leave it off after we do this promotion, which was the thing I wanted. We're gonna do extra combat strength, and there we go. That's gonna wrap up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode of Civ 6, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!